Welcome back folks. Today we have uh, another video. We are going to be playing the Dragon Quest XI S Echoes and Elusive Age Definitive Editions demo which just came out. And this came out out of nowhere so let's play it right now and see how it is. This demo is going to be carrying over data to the full version of the game, so if you download it right now and play it, you can actually pick off right where the demo ends when the full game comes out, which is very cool, I think. They've been doing a lot of these demos for the Dragon Quest games in the West lately. And here's the intro. So we'll watch the intro, why not? Of course it's the same as the regular Dragon Quest XI, and there's Veronica, adult Veronica. Tokyo Metropolitan Symphony Orchestra. This game also has the entire orchestral version of the soundtrack, so we'll test that out as well. I really want to see how the 16-bit version looks and how the orchestral version of the game looks. We'll be taking a look at that as well. Intro looks a bit more compressed than the PC version, which is interesting. There's Eric. There's Serena with a and Veronica and the horse and Silvando. Jaden Rab. I always thought that the intro section for the uh, for the game was really well made. There's Hendrick and Jasper and uh, King Carnelian. It's it's a really good intro, I think. It really gives you a feel of what the game's supposed to be like. They're trekking through the winter. They're flying through the dragons and everything. Oh, th this game is also supposed to have party members that follow you around behind you. Before, they would kind of just merge into you and you wouldn't be able to see them, but now they actually run around on the field. So, yeah, we'll maybe look at that if, if we get far enough to meet Eric. If the demo doesn't end right at a Cobblestone. Producer Hokuto Okamoto. Okay, he uh, commented on my contest prize, actually. He's the one who awarded me the, the prize for the last Dragon Quest contest. There's Yggdrasil. And the dragon. That kind of spoils the end of the game, doesn't it? <laughs> the egg dragon. Ooh. Definitive Edition S. I can't wait for this to come out. I already pre-ordered it, and it's already on sale, so I, I'm gonna get it for 50 bucks. It's gonna be really great. Venture Forth Nintendo eShop. That's probably where you buy the game. Well, it's Venture Forth. I'm actually using an SNES controller for this that I got from 8-Bit Doe, so that's like the real Super Nintendo experience. So let's see. You hear that? That's the Symphonic Suite. Listen. Right? So we're going to create a new adventure log. I can tell because I did the mod of oh, video streaming. Let's see what the deal is for this. The music is copyrighted by Sugiyama. Sugiyama streaming is permitted to non-commercial contexts. Oh, we're just going to break this rule really badly. <laughs> that, that, that same thing pops up on the regular game. I never got a strike or anything. So there's, as you can see, there's nine adventure logs. We're going to be, well, check this out. Right before we start, I'm going to show you something funny, something uh, interesting. If you type in Erdrick, look what happens. Alright. I'm going to type in Erdrick. Wait, what? Does that work, actually? Are you happy to proceed with the name Erdrick? Oh, it actually worked. That's weird. It's not supposed to work in the in the normal game. It's supposed to say you can't you can't type that name in. In the uh, PS4 and PC version, it doesn't let you. That's weird. So it actually does let you type in Erdrick. Interesting. Try it again. Hmm. 
Okay, so I'll just type in my real name. Of course. Alright, and you see that draconian quest icon? We're gonna be doing that. So what we're gonna do is... Because I think DQ11 is a bit easy, to be honest. So we're gonna, of course, do... We're gonna, of course, do the Shypox. Uncomfortable embarrassment will plague you in your every step of the adventure. Super Shypox. Embarrassment. Interesting. Yeah, I'll turn that on. Uh, strange forces sometimes overcome. Telling a white lie. That's interesting. Towns, they can tell lies. Party wiped out of protagonist parishes. That's a little too much. Okay, uh, all enemies are super strong. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Reduced experience from easy fights. Um, nah, that's stupid. No armor. That's stupid, too. Okay, that, 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 that's good, I think. Yep. All right, Draconian Quest. We'll be doing that. Uh, and my name is entered. Okay, so you start off right at the beginning. Only 3D mode is available in the demo version. You have to buy the full game to get the 2D mode. Ah, damn. I was really looking forward to the 2D mode, but we'll have to wait until the real game comes out. Alright, let's do let's do 3D mode. Why not begin by adjusting the various settings? Which language would like the character's voices to be in? Depending on the settings you choose, there may be discrepancies between voice lines and subtitles. Uh, we're gonna choose Japanese just because I've already played it in English. You might as well just we might as well play it in Japanese. There's no reason not to. Just check it out, right? Horizontal movement, normal. I think it's right. I'm moving behind you when I'm running. Uh, let's just go. Whichever one looks best to you. I don't know which looks best to you guys. It was a 50, right? Yeah, I think 50 looks good. Okay, the adventure log is successfully created. So when the retail version comes out, you can play this version. Here's the intro section. This actually is a hint towards what happens at the end. You see that right there? Kind of important to remember the scene. Not gonna give away anything. This is a really well made cutscene. See how nice it looks? It looks, it looks the same as the way Dragon Quest X's uh, cutscenes looks. Because I think Orca was really working on this portion of it. There's a dancer girl. And there's this, the taco. Near the tower where the hero will be born. The luminary. rained on that day it's pretty interesting there's a, a lot of this intro scene doesn't really make any sense until you finish the game then everything's like ah oh, that makes sense now i get why they did this in carnelian there's there's rab there's king of dundrasil oh japanese voices i prefer the english voices but this is pretty cool still there's no mistaking it. And there's the luminary. <laughs> Baby luminary. That's your Smash Brothers character right there. When he was born. So that must be in the day he was born. And the evil forces attack immediately afterwards to kill the baby. So even these scenes are actually orchestrated if you listen. Right? Is it? The entire soundtrack is orchestrated. Cause I know, um, uh, I worked on I, I worked on you know doing videos for the the mod the orchestral overhaul mod on the PC, and not every single town had an orchestral soundtrack from the CD that was able to be pulled. So there were some uh, there were some MIDI tracks still in that mod because it just wasn't possible to find something. This must be new stuff though, you know. You'll find out who that is eventually. Who that girl is? Oh no. 
got killed by the headless horseman. And the luminary, of course, survived. So this is the first time Japanese voice acting has been in the game, actually. The original movies didn't have voice acting in the Japanese version. Look at that. The letter. Some good voice acting. Okay. Several years later. A lot more in several, to be honest. I was like, what is that, like 18 years later? There's the Mark of the Luminary. Oh, she doesn't have her Irish accent anymore. I like how her other voice better, her English voice. Alright, so autoplay. Oh, that's new. Alright, I'll autoplay it. There's Sandy, the dog. Alright, let's look at this resolution. Oh man, that's not nearly as good as the PC version. It's not a, it's not 60 FPS either, it's 30 FPS, isn't it? Alright, let's look at the menu. So, as you can see, the menu is exactly the same as all the Dragon Quest games, except for 8. Miscellaneous is where you go to um, system settings, display, audio, draconian quest, camera. So you can't do anything... Oh, special rewards? <laughs> can't claim that. Um, tactics... Anything else here? Draconian quest is underway, and it says that right there. Party talk. Our big day, Chief. We finally get to go and do the ceremony. Oh my goodness. Can I change the voice acting while I'm here? Uh, yeah, you can change it right there. Protagonist voice. He has a voice this time. Alright, let's head over. Woof, woof, woof. Okay. Crippling embarrassment. Is that the shy pox? The shy pox makes it so you can't talk to see people, people sometimes. That was the sound effect when you get cursed in the original Dragon Quest on the NES. The symbols on the, on the side of the tour represent spirit of the land. The coming of, coming of age ceremony is one of the ways we show our gratitude for its protection. Okay. Now the mayor and your mother are waiting to see if you off the tops. Press Y and look at the map. Press Y. Alright, that pulls up the map. Oh, there's a photo mode? Wait, wait. Hold on a sec. Look at that. There's a photo mode. And 
You can make them do poses. Thumbs up. You can make them cry. You can make them do hocus pocus. Uh, look this way. Look this way. Interesting. So I can like pose them like that. And even Gemma looks this way. Wait. Uh. And only his head moves. Okay, so if I zoom in, how do I zoom in? I can get rid of Gemma. Background blur, I can turn it on or off. Oh, I can even rotate him. Well, it's a pretty decent photo mode. Only the resolution was better. The resolution is not that great. Look at that. It looks very uh, not good. All right, let's keep going. That was, a, that was a distraction. Wedding bells. That's her grandma. So the symphonic soundtrack sounds pretty good, right? This is it, right? I can change it back and forth or what? Yeah, you can. it can only be symphonic. You can't... So you're not allowed to use the MIDI soundtrack in the demo, but you have to buy the full version and get the worst soundtrack. That's the, that's kind of interesting. Jump. Also, what's interesting is uh, the B button does jump and A button does talking to people. Meanwhile, it's like the opposite in the uh, PS4 and PS PC version. Come on. The embarrassment. He's too embarrassed to talk to people. All right. Wait, what do you say? What do you, what do you say afterwards? Head down and give. Press X and t party talk. Oh, talk. All right. Okay, that's a little. <laughs> that's a little odd. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's his mom. She's not really his mom, though. She's like his fake mom. Priest with a beard. Beard of land. Alright, let's keep going. おじいちゃんから聞いたの。あの神の岩には大地の精霊様が宿ってるんだって。小さい頃からずっと Bodyguard. Oh, the slimes are gonna pop up. I'm really disappointed that we can't do the 16-bit version of this, because this would be cool. Oh boy. The music sounds really great, the battle theme. Alright. Oh, I have the free roaming thing where you run around. I usually like to keep it s steady because I don't really see the point. All right, let's attack this guy. Come on, dog, hit him. Yes, good, good dog. In this game, you actually fight alongside your animals rather than like Pokemon, where you're, you know, just forcing them to fight for you. It's like friendship and stuff, you know. Oh crap! I'll hide behind the dog. 
I would come barking. Why are you watching? She can hit. Oh. The Shy Fox. Oh my gosh, the Shy Fox. Alright, let's go. I'll attack this guy. She's cheering me on. That's all she's doing. Climbs are defeated. Six EXP. Oh, treasure chest. Oh, medicinal herb. Crikey. Oh, Sandy's running off. My switch is like a warring right now. It's like got the fans going on high on full blast. All right, uh, let's see. I want to change the the battle system settings, battle mode. Okay, freeform classic. Oh, ultra fast. There's a faster battle. Okay, th this is gonna be good. I gotta check this out. I always liked the ultra fast option. This is really is the definitive version. Cause it's like they didn't have an ultra fast version in the regular edition of the game. So we're gonna be exploring the cave now. Oh wow, the music's great in here. Sandy's just casually running across a log like that. Or right, we'll talk that slime up there and see how the ultra fast battles work out. Oh, there should be something here. Some treasure to get. Oh, look at that. Another medicinal herb. Doesn't this world look great? I mean, it just looks so good, right? Compared to that other RPG that's coming out soon. Uh, more monsters. And... Alright, so you can sneak up. Oh, that's fast. That's a really fast battle. It's all it's it's really fast. That's actually really cool. All enemies are super strong. Well, not, not really. All right, let's just avoid all these guys and get to the top, and get that cutscene where you know what happens. First boss or whatever. Ah, did not mean to do that. Want to walk around him. Whatever. Oh, this is much better, for, uh, like, way of battling. Oh, critical hit I got. Even, like, her, uh, the, the dog's tail is wagging really fast. Alright, so... She wants us to go that way, but I'm gonna check this way because there's got to be something interesting here. There's always something hidden. Ah, here we go. So much exploration in this game. Another medicinal orb. That's why I like this game. It's like really fun to explore. I wish the Draconian Quest would turn off autosave because the autosave makes the game a little too easy, if you ask me. Ah, here we go. Chunk of Copper War. Made it to the top? No, that's... Oh, it's the little boy who got away. Cool. Will do.
first boss fight. Some smogs drawn here. All right, well we've got super fast battle. Keep at it, Chief. I know how, what I can to help. She's not gonna help, is she? She's a damsel in distress. Oh crap. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get killed by that thing. Oh, she has medicinal herbs, so she's gonna help me. Okay, I get it. Oh, so he he's he's scared of the dog. Right. Damn I heal me. Oh you hurt you hit the dog. <laughs> oh no. A shy pox. I missed. Sandy just keeps barking at <laughs> him. I'm really weak. Okay, the dog is more powerful than me. I should just take the dog with me on my adventure. 40 experience, 22 gold. But yeah, she's clapping really fast. You see how fast she's clapping, like, rapidly? She's, like, going at it. Frizz. そうよ、平よね。神聖な神の岩に魔物が出るなんてことを今までなかったのに。それはそうとダメよ、マノロ。こんな危ないことしたら。さ。うん。分かったよ。He definitely did not say yes, Gemma. Sorry, Gemma. That was not what he said. ありがとうね。あんな怖い魔物を倒しちゃうなんて強くなったんだ。Time to climb. Oh no, it's raining. Alright, so we have to get up to the top of the mountain. We're gonna climb. What does it say? Don't be don't go losing your grip, or else you know you'll hit the floor and die. This is like the worst thing to make kids do after they like why do you need to climb to the top of the mountain every single person? What if you f fall off or something? All right, we're gonna have to shimmy across closely. Where's Gemma? Oh, she can't she she can't do it too This she she just disappears when it's time to climb stuff. Where are you? Oh, there she is All right Can I just jump off here? Oh, yeah, I can All right, let's just go on through here. There's a cave where it's not raining. It's nice and dry. There's fire here. That's an Elysian bird, no. It's an attack. Gemma's about to fall off. We have to help her. Oh, he got her right in the right when she fell off. Of course the bird's not gonna let up, the bird's gonna keep attacking. Luminary powers activate. Freaking fries him.
でも不思議だわまるであなたが雷を呼んだみたい<笑>その技は一体。消えちゃったわね何だったのかしらいっぱい助けてもらったわねやっぱりあなたが一緒だと私心強いわさ早いとこお祈りを済ませましょう我ら医師の民大地の精霊と共にありロトゼタシアの大地に恵みをもたらす精霊たちよ日ごとの糧を与えてくださり感謝しますどうかその大いなる御心で悠久の大地に生きる Good thing she's saying all this because he can't talk Otherwise he'd be kind of screwed right He won't be able to say the prayer Alright, let's head back now and talk to the mayor. Oh, I have to walk all the way back. Or not. Cobblestone <laughs> tour base. Look at the dog. Oh, well, get your nose out of there. <laughs> Jeez, I don't even sniffed up. Okay, uh, Cole. Oh no, his haircut. <laughs> They're laughing at his haircut. <laughs> Hello? The lightning was terrifying. I summoned that lightning. Alright, where's the mayor? Oh, look, it's the priest guy. Wait, I lost an argument with Sandy the dog and I cried? <laughs> oh man, that's happened to me before at school. <laughs> you accidentally called to my mom. <laughs> Hello. Okay, there's the mayor. Tadaima, Ojita. Oh, Stari to Mobuji, he called it the Nani Origa. Comino, you only coming on your own stakara. King of Stenaika, me not the ship by the Ottawai. So, Joe, the Nani of Ottawaja. You're the one who sends people up there to like almost get killed anyway, and you're talking about getting back in one piece. The spirit of the land is watching over you. お日様に照らされてキラキラしててねあんな光景初めて見たわうんこの世界ロトゼタシアがいかに広大かを石の村しか知らぬお主らも分かったようじゃな
お主らはまだまだ若いもしかするとこの村を出て羽ばたく時が訪れるかもしれんからなこのロトゼタシアの広大さをわしは儀式を通じて二人に伝えたかったんじゃよさてそろそろ村に戻るとするかのお前の母ペルラにも儀式を終えたことを教えてあげなさいホームタイム。Right, Amber's gonna tell the main character about his destiny and all that stuff, and he's gonna become the chosen one. And... So, so far, this game is really taxing on my Switch. My Switch is like whirring. Here's Cobblestone. Yeah, I like, I like how it looks so far, but if you notice, it is lower resolution. PC version was definitely a lot higher resolution. Is this like coming of age? Oh hey, ceremony's all done. All right, whatever. Oh hello. Look at my lovely horse. Oh, that's her horse. She's that spoiled. She has her own horse. Spoiler alert, that's actually my horse. It's gonna become Luminaire's horse after <laughs> after they send him off. Okay, we should go to the store, maybe grab some goods. This is the first Dragon Quest game where uh, you enter a building and it doesn't let the building even go in and out without a loading screen. I just got back from climbing the tower. Oh, that's interesting. So Gemma can talk to people. I'll send her out the back way. Hey, look, a haystack. What else? What are good stuff is here? Oh. Hello. Heliodor. Yeah, Heliodor is a nice place, especially at night. You can walk around the rooftops and stuff. Oh, what are these kids doing? Playing in the water. Okay, I think that's enough for now. I'll just head over to the mom. Oh, the dog. The dog wants me to follow him. Or her. It's a dog. It's a girl dog, right? Oh. I can jump up there. I can grab whatever's on the roof. Hey, I need to go on your roof. Uh, don't mind me. You ate a medicinal herb. Oh, she lied. Lied to me, because that's a draconian quest thing. How am I supposed to get to the top of the roof? Ah, here we go. Here's how we get to the top. All right, I'm just gonna jump on top of the roof and grab the pink pine. I don't remember what that is. I think that's like a crafting item. All right, I wanna go to the top of this roof to grab some stuff. Ooh, a flurry feather. Oh, a treasure chest. You have to understand, I don't. I have not played this in months. I haven't played this in a real. I played this like probably exactly a year ago. Like in October is when I beat Dragon Quest XI. I don't think I've played it since then. I was busy with our stuff. No, there's nothing here. I just smashed all. I just smashed a bunch of pumpkins. Like that band. Okay, time to talk to the mom. Look how Gemma's looking at the luminary. Emma <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, she got surprised by that. <clears throat> Brazilian amulet proving that he's a prince. <laughs>。実は the reincarnation of the luminary. ゆうさ。ゆうさが何なのかわからないけど、Music just stops. So it's time to go to Heliodor to show the necklace to the king. Dinner time. <laughs> Incarnation of the Luminary. <clears throat> All enemies are super strong. Alright, I'm gonna go for a walk. First, let's go to upstairs into my room. Wait, my room is not here. This is... My room's upstairs. Or up the ladder. Up ladder. Look at the meat just hanging there. <clears throat> okay, so this is my... Wait, there's no bed here. Yeah, if you fell from there, you definitely would hurt your legs. Like, you wouldn't be able to land properly. Okay, my bed is right here, and there's her bed. Okay. Can I jump out the window? No. Oh, I can open this, though. Ah, uh, my plain clothes. Hey, look, there's cheese on the table. And bread. Outside. And the chickens are still awake. There's no music. There's no music right now? Yeah, there's no music. Ah. People lock their doors now? This is an RPG. They're supposed to leave their doors unlocked so I can barge in while they're sleeping. Okay, that's fine. I don't need to go into your house. What I do need to go, though, is the top of the church. It has something, I think. Oh, no, that, that, the, top of, the top of Gemma's house. And, and if you, when you leave, you really can't come back to grab it. Oh, sorry. I'll clean that up. Alright, grab grab that. Oh, it's a medicinal herb. Can I save? It's locked. Okay, Gemma's gonna be waiting over here by the tree. There's a rude wrapped around it. Curious power emanates from the rude wrapped around a tree. Yo, you'll find out about that later on. Oh, 
子供の頃この木にスカーフを引っ掛けて私をお泣きしたんだよねでもあなたは何とかしようと村中を駆け回ってくれて<笑>そういえば成人の儀式の前にも同じようなことがあったっけ私子供の頃からちっとも変わってないわね私ねあなたはこの村でずっとみんなと穏やかに過ごしていくんだろうなって思ってたのだから勇者の生まれ変わりだってペルダおば様から聞いた時はとても信じられなくてびっくりしちゃった<笑>あのねおじいちゃんから前にちょっとだけ聞いたことがあるの遠い遠い,遠い昔世界中が魔物に襲われて大変だった時どこからともなく勇者が現れて世界を救ったんだってそしてその後勇者が星になって今もこの世界を見守ってるらしいわ That's a luminary up there? That star? ほらほらあの星よ<笑>あなたが勇者かなんだか信じられないわでもデルカダールに行けば全てがわかるのよねさあもう自分たちの家に帰りましょうみんな心配しているわ。じゃあね。ああ、シュランザフ。You know, I can still come back anytime, literally. Like, it's not like I am going away forever. Morning comes. I can just use Zoom to come back in like one second. Alright, it's time to kick me out of the town and out of the house, finally. She's like, finally, this guy's getting out of my damn house. Oh boy, the Luminaire outfit. ほんとにりっぱになってそのすがたおじいちゃんにも見せてあげたかったわ忘れちゃダメだよあんたは村で一番勇敢だったおじいちゃんの孫なんだからねこの先何が起きてもあんただったら乗り越えられるってお母さん
That's the first quest you ever do. What is this stamp gonna do? Complete. It's gonna do the quest complete. It's very satisfying seeing that. Alright, so the quest catalog. This is where all the quests are. This is a really amazing looking Switch game, isn't it? I mean, it looks a lot better than, like... Like, compared to the Breath of the Wild or something like that, it looks, like, way better. Like, the cell shading, the atmosphere, the, you know, birds flying in the sky, everything, the lighting. Hello, old lady. It looks like... I look like Chalky. Well, I'm not related to him, so how do I look like him? Okay, there's my horse. Or as her horse, what'd you say? Uh, oops. <laughs> she wasn't supposed to tell you. Okay, so Yuji Hori said that apparently if you look through the window of uh, Gemma's house, you can see Gemma. It was like an Easter egg or something. Dog won't let me through. Okay, she doesn't want to talk to anybody right now. Okay, apparently if you go to the window, you can see Gemma from the window. That's what Yuji Hori said. Uh, going up, climbing up, just casually jumping up your rooftop. Ah, oh, there she is. She's actually sitting at the door. Like, you see that, that attention to detail? Hold on, so can I, like, can I, like, do first person mode? Is first person mode not in this game? Okay, I'm gonna screen cap that. Zipper stick. Oh, cool. That's very useful compared to what I'm holding right now, this freaking sword. Hello there, Cole. You wanna... Oh, you can come with me. Freaking... The Dragon Quest V main character was like five years old and he was fighting monsters and demons and stuff. Alright, there she is. The mom. Yeah, that's all my goodbyes, except for Gemma, who didn't want to come out. She's found you. Floating. <laughs> Oh, I'll put in a good word, all right, if you know what I mean. If you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, there will be something in it for you guys. <laughs> there will definitely be something in it for you guys. The mayor. He's gonna regret asking me to, to talk about cobblestone. The map of Ardrea. I got the map of the entire world. And there's my new horse. Yes, yes. 
I thought my grandpa was a pride of cobblestone. <laughs> Is that what they said? You'll find Helidor easy enough. Oh, she's crying. Oh, Gemma. Gemma's charm. The horse, nay bother. Okay. The orchestral overhaul. Sounds great. But of course, I, pl I already played it like this on the PC with a mod. And there's all the monsters out here. I'm just gonna avoid them and run straight to Hobble the Heliodor. Because we don't need a grind or anything. It's not like I got the full game. Oh, look, it's a raven. I might not be able to avoid him. Or I did, actually. You can see Heliodor all there from over here. Oh, there's cruel cumbers. Walking around casually. Oh, there's a nice little hut right there. A little cabin. Oh-ho, hold on a second. Ow. I can't believe they put Jontron in the game before me. I deserve to be in Dragon Quest XI, not him. Well, I'll stay at his house. He's got that YouTube money. あの He's giving me a lot of uh, advice and a lot of free stuff. Isn't this kind of suspicious to you? Why would he be doing all this for me? Teen campers can continue on when others can't. Be prepared. Okay, thank you, Jontron. That's a stupid joke everyone on Twitter was making as soon as Dragon Quest Lemon came out. They're all like, oh my gosh, he looks like John Tron. And I thought that was like the dumbest thing. And everybody was just saying that. And I was like, okay, I kind of see it now. We're, uh, he's kind of short too. He's like a little, little, guy, little guy. And we don't need a rest. I'll just go. Let's just move. Or actually, let's let's check out the resting thing. You know, why not? You know, let's take a look at it. Okay, so it's no different here. Oh, this is my horse hanging out right there. Let's buy some Wayfarer's clothes. Yeah, sure. Equip it. Bandana, that'll, that'll be good. Put it in the bag accidentally.
Now let's head off. This is nighttime now. Oh, who's that? What is that? Where are those things? See, there's so much foreshadowing towards like the later half of the game that uh, happens in the beginning a part that you don't even notice. And it's actually really brilliant because you don't even think about it for the whole time. And then later on, you're like, oh my god. You're like, oh, now I get it. Here, let me get off this. Do some mining, Minecraft. Oh, you automatically get it? In uh, the PS4 version, you have to walk over to each individual one and pick them all. Oh, crap. Yeah, you have to pick each one up individually after hitting with the hammer. All right, let's do this super fast. Oh, you're fast now, huh? You notice how, how it's not only fast, but the character is also, like, moving fast. He, look, look out, look at him as he's spazzing out. Oh, you're dead. Oh, this is great, actually. This is a real, this game plays really well. Like, the resolution is not as great as the PC version, but everything else is just so good. That this definitely is probably... And it runs well. I thought that this was going to be a cho at a choppy frame rate because Dragon Quest Builders 2 was at a really bad frame rate because of... I don't know why, but it just was. Oh. But this actually runs really well. I forget where I need to go. Uh, That's the Emerald Coast. Can I go there? I really like this song so much. It's like so epic. Okay, um. Hey, you. You shouldn't go any further. Oh, the monsters there are. Those monsters are tough. Alright, let's move. Oh, what, what the heck? Why are they all in a circle together? The horny, the... Oh, they're sleeping. They're asleep. I can't remember if that was in the original, but they're, they're all asleep. All right, let's head over to Heliodor quickly. Oh, the, pla the platypunk is asleep too. All the, uh, the diurnal animals are uh, sleeping. Antidotal herb. Herb. There's Heliodor Castle. And you can see Yggdrasil off in the distance. That's so cool. It's like the entire draw distance. The draw distance is so good. Oh, crap. You can, I don't remember if you could see Yggdrasil from all the way here in the original. I, like, it's been a while, so I can't remember quite. But what's he sitting by? Secrets around here? You always gotta explore and make sure there's, you don't miss any secrets. Heliodor. I wonder when the demo will end. I, I, it, it can't be this long, right? This is really, this is a really long demo. Ah, hello, good sir. Welcome to Heliodor. This is the largest city in all Verdria. It is the largest city, actually. What, I can't take my horse in? Uh, that's cool. So can I explore all of Heliodor? The demo's not over yet. Oh. <laughs> I think he's a creep. It's already daytime now. I kind of want to explore nighttime, but... I guess we can get on with the story now. There's a lot here going on. So the king goes to sleep at night. Oh, hello there. Don't mind if I do. The city is so popular, you can go into all the buildings, you can read books. It's, like, so fun. Like, how could you not like this series? Like, this series is amazing. Like, let me, let, let, the Spotter's Guide to mo the Monsters. 
Monsters roam the land at night. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Like every hotel room, it's all like well furnished. It looks very like you know fantasy. This is the best game ever. Chimera wing. Look, look, there's people walking around as little dogs. He's looking at his butt. People talking here. There's kids talking. What are they talking about? So he says to me, check it out. Oh, the little girl lost her cat. Friend Amelia's gone and stuck on the roof. Amelia's stuck on the roof. She won't come down. I'll save Amelia. The the reward the the reward is really funny. What you get? How do I get to the roof now? Could have sworn. I, I completely forgot how to get- Oh yeah, you go to the basement. That's how you get to the roof. It was like a trick. This little girl didn't know how to get to the roof. Sounds very well. This is actually really good for a Switch game. I gotta say, this is already my favorite Switch game, this demo. Ah, the kitchen. Look, you see, look how nice this is. This is like, like... This entire kitchen down here? What's she saying? Da-da, dum-da-dum. Okay, you know what? Screw your cat. I'm not getting it. I'm just gonna go to the king. Oh, wait. There's gotta be a way to get to the, to the roof. I gotta save that cat. I can't just leave without the cat, okay? There has to be a way to get to the top. Not. I'm just gonna jump off here. That would hurt your legs as well. Wait, let's go save at the church. Welcome, my child. Music gonna change when I walk in? Yeah. Save. Pray my pr prayers are heard on high. I got nothing to do. He's like a typical kid at the church. He's like all bored and stuff. Aren't there musicians down here? Yeah, there are. They're playing the orchestral version of the soundtrack that Sugiyama let them play. Check it out, yeah. Okay, funny thing of this house, I remember this house because there's, there's a guy in here who actually gets mad that you're barging into people's houses. So you're a traveler, eh? Well, I don't know where you're from, but around here we don't go barging into people's houses without so much as a buy or leave. So this is the only guy in the entire world who cares about random strangers walking into his house. Why is he looking at the floor? Oh, that's why. You, you notice how he looks at he looks at things of interest like he's looking at the, the pot, right? I'll smash it. What's all this then? He's upset that I broke his pot. What are you gonna do about it, huh? He's not gonna do anything. You know, also smash, I'll smash his pumpkin. Oh, stepped right on it. And broke it. Smashing everything in this house. You know, screw you telling me that I can't come into your house in the middle of the night. Let me see, read his book here. A Brief History of Helidor. Fertile Soil. Farmers. Two brothers. Look at this lore. Irrigation system. So it's a farming city. The nation of Helidor. Okay, let's go upstairs into his room. If this is like real life, you get like arrested for... I was locked. Uh, that's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna get the thieves key and unlock it. Uh, some more pasta smash. Five golds. All right, I think that's enough messing around. We should go visit the king. Oh, a quest. Oh, I know where to, how to do this quest. 
glimpse of the two greatest heroes in all of history, Sir Jasper and Sir Hendrik. Leave it. He wants to read up about them. You want a book about them? Sure, I'll get you the book about Jasper and Helidor. It's on the west side of the city. The only red books are worth reading in this entire universe. So when you go to the bookstore, if a book is not read, then it doesn't sell. Uh, the west side. Yeah, I know where that is. I, I remember doing this quest, so I know how to say help him with the getting the book. I really should save that cat, though. Wait, that door can't be opened? Door be opened? You can just sidetrack about the stupid cat. But I want to save the cat. How do I... I completely forget how to go up there. Do I walk up here? I don't think it's open at night, maybe. Maybe it only opens at night, yeah. Maybe that's the gimmick. Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna go get the book for that guy. Oh, they got the well covered up so I don't jump down there. Oh, look at that kid. He's spinning around. I need to get the shopping done. She's all mad at her kid because he's like... He's like spinning around in circles. Okay, the book is around here. Ah, here we go. Random person's house I'm gonna barge into. They must have a good book here. Oh, here we go. That looks promising. Soldier and a strat strategist. Uh, the Tale of Two Heroes. Sir Hendrick, a warrior without equal. He's very chivalrous. He's a great knight. Sir Jasper. Jasper sucks. I'll go tell that tourist about the book. Oh. Flintstone. Oh, sorry, man. I broke your pot. Nice pumpkins. Okay. My work here is done. I should go give that guy the book, and now... Oh, this house looks promising. Oh, you can't go in there. Actually, while I'm here, I should probably grab... I, I have medicinal herbs, I think, but I should grab more. Oh, the ladder! You know what this means? The cat, I can save now. There it is. Nice. I was surprised that it was a cat at first. I thought it was like actually just her friend who was stuck on the roof. I was like, what? Alright, where's the items? Traditionally, I stand on the one side of the counter, you stand on the other. Wanna give it a try? Oh, he's being smart with me. Like, well, you don't stand there. Alright, here's your cat. A bag of kitty litter! She gave me kitty litter. For, what am I gonna do with cat litter? All right, I'll buy your stuff from this side. How many do I want? I want nine. All right, that's good. Lots of medicinal herbs because you know what's gonna happen next. I right, was gonna see the king already. Oh, this guy, though. Sir Hendrick is the mighty swordsman, and Sir Jasper is the military tactician. A Brazilian shilling. You know who's uh, the prince of uh, Dundrazil? Me. I am. So that shilling is worthless to me. All those birds. Hello. Done your homework. Okay, okay. Is that his teacher? Whoa. 
Uh, he has the love of his life, but he picked the wrong moment and blew it. Well, maybe she wasn't that great if she she needs a certain moment for you to tell her. The, the double-headed eagles that represent the two founders of the... ...on the flag. So it represents the two brothers who came to Heliodor and founded it. Like, it's these details that they add in. They're really good. Also, that statue is just that statue flipped. And there's the flag. Alright, here we go. <laughs> he shows him proof. They believe him now. They saw that and they're like, oh crap. He really is the luminary. Oh. We got access to the, to the castle. Oh no, his daughter, the princess. Wait, what? Did you just hear that? Somebody just spoke to me, but oh my gosh, there's nobody there. Oh no, it's a lie. She lied. She lied to me. People can lie in this game. Rusty bumpkin look, punch you in the face look. I'm gonna walk through here, even though you don't want me to. Oh, screw you. Enjoy this nice looking castle while you can. What do you say? Odd luminary. Very long last. Finally. Courtyard? This is the courtyard where memories are stored. Oh, everyone knows I'm the luminary. I'm gonna smash these pots real quick. Pots. And you know what that is? Curious power emanates from the root. I wonder what kind of root that is. Tries to open his mouth. This is like realistic. Or striking up a conversation with a stranger out of the blue. Uh, butterfly wing. Tree. That's an Adrizol root. The world tree. How amazing this like this place looks. The lighting, the way the look of shininess on that. Now the bedroom. A book. Seeing Carnelian behind the throne. Okay, there's a book praising the king in, a, in the king's castle. Why would you have a book about yourself in your own house? Just sitting there on the shelf being like, yeah, this guy's great. I'll see, there's another book about him. Drain Geographic. Ooh. Great Five Nations. Dondrasil. Dondrasil is no longer a thing, first of all. Heliodor, Galopolis, Sniffelheim, and Zvardust. Zvardust is also not, not a thing anymore. It got destroyed, I think. Well, there's only three, there's only three nations now.
Was Vardas destroyed? I can't remember. Hey. Shut up. I'll take as much as I want. Urchin, those are gifts for the king. Punch you in the face. Urchin. Little bald short guy. You're trying to tell me that I can't take whatever I want in random people's houses when I run in. Vardas, was that was that Hendrick's home home place? I know. No, no, that was that was a different place. That, that was Drustin's place. Like I said, it's been a while, so I don't really remember. Is there no first person mode anymore? There is no first person mode anymore. I can't I can't go into first person. Andrew beat the crap out of him. There's a book sitting there. Alright, let's just go to the castle. There's some good recipe books behind these doors, but I can't go in there yet. Alright, let's just go in there. All right, let's just watch the cutscene. I'll be quiet. There's Hendrick. And King Carnelian. Tabi no mono yo. Yokoso. Leru ka daru shoe. ぐのはの首飾りか。よくぞ来た。旅の者よ。わしが出るかだあるの王である。こうしてそなたが来るのを長年待っておった。ようやくあることができ嬉しく思うぞ。その首飾りを携え。王であるわしに会いに来たということはそなたは自分の素性を知っておろう。He そのあざこそ勇者の印。そなたこそあの時の赤ん坊。皆の者よ喜べ。今日は記念すべき日。ついに伝説の勇者が現れたのじゃ。時に勇者よ。そなたはどこから来たのだ。Don't tell him, don't tell him. <laughs> He's gonna tell him. Yeah, I came from Cobblestone. You can go right down the, the road down there. You can visit them. Please don't kill any of them, at least. Don't terrorize them. Esper is asking. Nobody's. You know what to do. Do not disappoint me. You know what they're gonna do to the cobblestonians, right? Uh oh, Hendrick. The most memeable character in the whole game. The wicked scheme. He's really angry. <laughs> That's a plot twist, isn't it? What? The root of all evil? What is he talking about? 
How could that be possible? That's a plot twist, isn't it? Hendrix seems like a jerk at right now, but he's only following orders, you have to remember. How angry he is. That King Carnelian set me up. Now I'm going to be in the dungeon. <clears throat> this is a really long demo, I have to say. It's been like over an hour and a half right now. Investigation. He means more like killing all of them. Dang it. Hero in chains. Stuck in here now. Wait a minute. Caged luminary. That's my, uh... That's my class right now. I'm a caged luminary. Who's talking? Man, this is a really not a very nice cell. Look at that. It's a wooden bed. It's a just sleep on there and there's like chains. Torture device. Keep it done, will you? I wonder what Eric's voice sounds like. Is he... That's a good voice. ところでお前何をやらかした<笑> <laughs> punched him. Must be really good at punching it if you can like knock him out like just like that. <laughs> Managed to escape already. Kina. <laughs> 
Oh wow, I already killed him. We knocked him out. この先手ぶら邪気犬だからな。こいつを装備するんだ。Alright, so is he still alive? He's unconscious. Eric has a secret here. この穴を掘っていたんだ。今日脱獄しようと思っていたが、そんな日にまさかお前が来るとはな。どうやらあの予言通り、俺はお前を助ける運命にあるらしいの。今は詳しく話してる時間はね。さあ、お前から先に行き
Hanging out here with my torch. What I'm gonna do is hide here. As he turns around. There. Oh, crap. Not... Okay, I can beat them this time. Get the B guard, right? I'm really weak. I also have Eric kill him, because Eric's really tough. Okay, he's dead. Or he's unconscious, more like. Okay, nice. What, is he dead? Like Metal Gear Solid stuff right here. Stay with me. Why are you getting off our head? Collapsing. Their luck's about to change. Hopefully there's no really big monsters down here or anything. Oh, can save down here. This is a really long demo. What is that? That doesn't look good. There's a dragon. The black dragon. There's a dragon under the Heliodor castle. They're just... They didn't even know about it. There's someone, there's, they, they just have one there. Under the castle this whole time. That's like an end, end level. Alright, let's go. Let's move. The sprinting function is not even in. 
Okay, we gotta keep running. Otherwise, this dragon will freaking destroy us. Jump. The other knees definitely got shot from that. He's not giving up, this dragon. We're dead meat, let's go. Climbs. Body punks. They're all running away from him. Everything's just running away from this dragon. Oh, look! Metal slimes. You saw all those metal slimes? That could have been some good EXP, but this dragon had to scare them all off. Looks like he, uh, gave up. Oh, he didn't give up yet. He's breathing fire right through the cave. The guards found us. But they keep running from them. Crazy, they just jump right off. Oh, they're showing the intro credits again. It's gonna be exactly the same, isn't it? We already saw this. Uh...
Well, that was a good intro. 11S, Definitive Edition. Record your activities in Adventure Log. I'm guessing this is the end of the demo. Let's see. Oh, it's not. Oh, we're gonna wake, we're gonna wake up on shore anyway. The demo's still going on. I say that's surprising. いや、ようやくお目覚めか。ここは出るかだあるのはずれにある境界。勇者の奇跡ってやつを信じて崖から飛び降りたが、どうやらその賭けには勝ったらしい。So Oh, the Nanu looked after us. I'm surprised the game is still going on. Alright, thank you, Nun. Miss. よかった。それは何よりです。ですが、お気をつけて。先ほど不穏な話を耳にしました。何でも凶悪な囚人たちが牢を脱走し、この辺りをうろついているそうです。えっと、セクトリミナルズ。ちゃんとまだ。町は何とも物々しい雰囲気です。逃走中の二人の囚人を追って。Alright, justice will be done. Yeah, we have things to discuss. Like, this lady thinks we're evil. She's like, oh, those villains. Okay, so he, he, you can do that. Alright, let's try talking to her again. I already saved. Alright, let's talk to Eric outside. He breaks wind. Yep. ムラのこと気になるだろうが、早まるなよ。奴に見つからず意志のムラに行く。俺ならその道を知っている。He Alright, fine. I'll go. You can say no to everything. So we have the hood. The hood of the luminary. Alright. <laughs> The seer told him to stick with me. Eric joins the party. Oh, this is... 
They orchestrated the, the party joining music. That wasn't in the orchestral overhaul mod. Cool. Alright, let's head on. I know what pet powers are. That's just certain something downtown. So look at this. He, they follow you. Your, your, your teammates follow you around now. That's crazy. So that means that like when Veronica and Serena and uh, Salvando and uh, maybe if there's another party member, who knows, if they pop up, then um, they'll be following you around too. I'm just gonna avoid every single one of these monsters. Alright, so we're gonna head over to Heliodor Castle. Going up these stairs. This demo is really, really long. It's really long. Alright, so here's the back streets of Heliodor where the thieves and the merchants hang out the poor people basically <clears throat> poor people district rogues ruffians and all my other favorite kinds of people they stole the red orb from the royal family Wow, he must be really wanted then. Thinkiest garbage pile in all of Heliodor. They buried, they buried the greatest treasure in the whole city in a, in a garbage pile. Well then. You're looking for the dump? Well, you're in the right place of time for rubbish. Asking about rubbish. Now oh, the escape prisoners. Hey, what the heck? Why do they want to throw me in the dungeon? Where are these people? Okay. Where's that garbage pile? Got some drunks here. Dancers. I bet you're from Eiffel Roxy, ain't ya? Yeah, I am. Well, there's Lux Roxy's not here. Roxy's the dancer who comes here. This is the really pathetic kind of pub they got. It's like a little tent. Well, here's the stinkiest garbage pile in the whole world. ついたぜ。ここだ。すぐにオーブを回収するから。お前は邪魔が入らないよう見張っててくれ。間違いない。確かこの辺りに。ない。Not here. Even little, he stole from another thief. Okay, so we gotta go to the inn they used to crash in. Oh, that's an inn. The Dirk stole the red orb from Eric. That's not good. We needed that. Wait, why did we need that red orb? Want to hear something good? Okay, fine. What? Oranges are an excellent source of juice. And bananas. That's the juicy info he wanted to give? Man. I just gave him five gold for that. Check out his armor. 
Uh, whatever. Let's just keep going. Isn't it? This is his house. Fun fact, this uh, alleyway is the first uh, location shown off uh, when they were showing off the demo for Dragon Quest XI, the uh, original one back in 2016, I believe. This was the first area that was completed. A door. Tight. Treasure chest in there. Where was the... Oh, that's the hotel. なつかしいな。全く変わってないぜ。ここは俺とデクが盗賊だった頃。随分と世話になっていた下宿なんだ。おい、おかみ。おかみはいないか。俺だ。神だ。聞きたいことがある。おかみはルスか。弱ったな。
城下町を騒がせてる脱獄主ってのはうんどうやら訳ありみたいだね Alright, it's fine. We just know where Dirk is. Fancy shop by the castle. Breaking in the cash. Stole the red orb, didn't he? Oh,ohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohohoh
Use the planks on the left at your own risk. Oh wow. Camo is quite a quite a daredevil going up here. Poof pan plan. Oh, he needs Flintstone. Oh, I got Flintstone for him. Here's some Flintstone. Okay. Wait, is that the tunnel? That's the tunnel to get through? Oh, the Flintstone's right there. So wait. Okay, so you didn't have to use a dog to scare the guy. You can just go. You can just go through a secret tunnel down here. That's awesome. I didn't realize you could do that. I did, I did, never saw that in the original game. So that was a quick and easy way. What does Eric think? Yes, sir. Oh, he doesn't care. He doesn't care how we got here. I had no idea you could you could choose a way to get through. You can you can use a tunnel to get through. That's amazing. So I didn't even get those stupid buzzberries for that kid or the holy water. Where's that kid? All right. Uh, let's see what's here. Wait, but the the dancer girl's back there though. I gotta go check her out. We'll we'll go to Dirk's shop first. Now that we're in the fancy park town, if I can just remember where it is. It's over by the castle. I know. Ah, oh, here we go. The guards are not gonna last past. Gotta sneak in. This is where the RPG elements come in. You gotta figure out a way to get in by yourself. And luckily, that little girl gave me a good idea. Look. Be on the roof, you can get into others too. You can probably climb on chimneys. I go through here and go up the ladder. Probably do like you know Assassin's Creed jump across the uh, the walls. Okay, that would have probably killed you. Now let's try sneaking in this way. Trying to climb up again. I can I can jump on this box actually. Oh, there's a treasure chest, and there's a little guy there. Whoever that is, who knows what that is? What luck, a mini metal. The mini metal. You will find out what the mini metals are for later on. Search. I need to figure out a way to. Onto that roof. I see now. I go back here, right? To this backyard. The rope on the top of the roof. Nice. So I can just jump up here. Balance carefully across.
I thought Eric was following me around. There's no skill points yet. This must, must be Dirk's place. Hello there. If you chug two holy waters after wolfing down five medicinal herbs, you'll instantly get pepped up. What? That's awesome. I'll save that for later. Oh. oh. She was lying. Damn, why would she tell me that? Why would she... You can instantly get pepped up. That that would make me be able to get grind to level 100 if that was true. So sleepy. We'll go to sleep then. Well, this is not Dirk's place. Dirk's place must be there. Oh, it must be this place. That, that's his shop. See how good, how good the game looks at night? Like the moonlight and how it's all bright looking and everything. It looks awesome. Right, this must be Dirk's shop. His voice is a little weird. I think his English voice is better, Dirks. He's a salesman. I gave back to the king. He bribed the guards. So possible that Dirk wasn't actually doing that and just making it up. Oh my goodness. Alright, good, they're friends now again. I do not like Dirk's Japanese voice at all. His Japanese voice is so awful. Like, too jolly and, like, happy and, like, giggly and stuff. Alright, I gotta show you Dirk's wife now. His wife is, uh... Not not bad. What do you think? I'm not Eric. Lightfinger gentleman all the realm. Such a rogue. Oh wow, she must like Eric too. Eric better watch out. Watch keep an eye on her. Let's see. Is that a nice shop actually? I can't even go in there. What is that? It just there's not even a room. There's just like a wall. You got lots of nice plates here, and some vases, and like a statue of some lady. Let's see what's upstairs. Anything good? Nope. Empty. 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 
Dirk has nothing but just plates and stuff here. Uh, why is he so rich? Who comes here? Not anything interesting here. I thought he had like jewelry and like. Ah, here we go. There's there's the goods. We should just steal it. Or where the heck is Dirk and Eric? どうしたんだ、デクラ。私、国に応募を返した後も人を使って応募の行方ずっと出たのよ。応募はグレイブ将軍が南のデルカダール神殿に移してんズバロ。天中に守ってるらしいよ。デルカダール神殿だって。うん
There's a ladder up here. Yeah, the game is really nice looking at nighttime. I think it's, oh, there's this treasure chest over there. A uh, little thing sitting there, whatever that is. Who knows what that could be? There's so much foreshadowing towards the game. You don't even like find out. The seed of agility. Who should use that? Should it be me or Eric? Yeah, that would definitely kill you. Okay, or not not kill you, but it, it would break your legs at least if you fell off from there. All right, let's go up here. that the kid went here. bloke that guy he gave you his house he gave you his, his house of oh, the old night watchman Maybe they don't play hide and seek at, uh, during the day. You know what? Let's head off to the Mangle Grove. Hello. Strongly recommend you don't go to the Mangle Grove if you insist. Hey, look, there's rats there. Oh, look, this guy's just sleeping on the floor. Alright, let's head out of here. This guy looks a little, uh... Okay, he's fine. Well, I'm living in the helicopter, working for the man, and I'm trying to do the best I can. But no matter how bad things might get, I can't give up the game ain't over yet. Okay, he's pretty good. I'm jamming out on his guitar. Let's go out to the Mango Grove. The Mango Grove is where things get tough. Let's head onwards. Oh, the horse we should call. So your your party members walk around uh, behind you on the uh, overworld, but not here. Oh, just down there. I see something nice. Sleeping hibiscus. And here is a mangle grove. Oh, it's raining. That must be one of the guys. Traveling salesman. I have no money whatsoever. I have 38 gold, so it's not like I can buy anything from this guy. Oh, there's a mist. 
Where's that cow? There's a cow over here that talks. Where is it? Oh, crap. No. This place is not fun. Look how many monsters there are. Yeah. Okay, nope. I'll just run. Ah, here's the cow. The weather forecasting cow. Moo, let's see what kind of weather we can look forward to. Moo. The, sky, the sky should clear at dawn tomorrow. Our bovine friends know a thing or two about weather. Okay. Okay, the campsite is around here. There's a campsite. No, camp ka. Chodo ye. Sare ni shitemo wa deku no yarou ga itcho mai ni mise nan zo hiraitoru to wa na. Shikamo machi no itto uchi ni お前さん好きだぜ。あれで俺と盗賊やってたなんてな。お宝求めて世界中駆け回ってたのが。お、そういや。デクトの旅の途中で見つかった。おお、they have so this is the alchemy pot of Dragon Quest XI, essentially. Wooden boomerangs, all this cool stuff you can make. Nice. So this is free weapons you can make. Alright, this is the most fun thing about... Alright, let's go, let's go. Bronze swords. Oh, nice. New, new swords. Hopefully, I have enough ingredients to make stuff. I know how to do this. <laughs> Alright, now let's see. I want one of those. Look at that. That's gonna make me way stronger. In fact, if I get two of those... Yeah, I, I can make one for each of us. That'll make us both really tough. Alright, now... The trick is, it's kind of like... You have to be really careful when making these. Bash, you gotta do them one by one, okay? Bash the second part. Bash the third part. First part now. Oh, you see that? Bash the second part. Ah, damn. That's as good as it's gonna be. If you appraise it, turn out really well. And that's about as good as it can get. So, there you go. not bad for a beginner sword. I didn't screw it up, at least. Oh, it's a plus two one. Perfectionist pearls is how you rework items. So let's forge one more bronze sword. One for Eric, one for me. A lot better than uh, paying money for weapons, right? Top one first. Second one next. Third one. And then you want to do this one right here. And perfect. And oh, look at that! That's really good, actually. Brilliantly, it's a brilliant sword. See how good I am at this? Perfection. The perfect sword. Nice. So we got some cool weapons now. I got four Perfectionist Pearls now. See, I didn't screw it up this time. Okay, so I got I got the Fun Size Forge now. Big hitter for plus three uh, item. Let's equip it. Cobblestone Sword? Nah, we use the Bronze Sword plus three. 
That's really tough compared to my old sword. That's awesome. Okay, Eric, he's gonna get, of course, the bronze sword plus two. We're not doing too bad. Let's go save here. A lot of gameplay time. Alright, so this is a very long uh, gameplay video. This demo is really long. I heard it's like 10 hours long or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here at about two hours. This is a good um, first first viewing of Dragon Quest XI S Definitive Edition. I'm really looking forward to this game. I'm, I got pre-ordered. I'm getting ready to play it. And, you know, we'll uh, maybe maybe we'll finish the demo next time or we can wait until the full game comes out. I'll wait to see your feedback. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.